Hello boys and girls, welcome to my show um, Stolen Lives I'm your host, Ms. Dow Today I'm here with a very, very short case But this is not because of me This is because of the lack of sources Um... Yeah, I'm so sorry because this video will be so short, but please um, don't worry because I will shoot another video after shooting this one. So you will have two videos to watch for. And before we start, I know a lot of you hate me talking about myself on my channel, but I would like to say that I should be studying for my exams. I should be learning my lines for my audition and I should be preparing a choreography. But here I am, shooting videos, because why not? Well, today's case is about Theresa Elore. Let's start! Theresa Elore was a 19-year-old Canadian when she disappeared in 1978. So we can say that this case is actually um, a little bit old. I, I don't know how old you are, but this case happened long before I was born, so it's old for me. Five months later, on April the 13th, 1979, on my aunt's birthday, her body was discovered in a small body of water approximately one kilometer from her dormitory residence in Compton, Cleavage. Upon her disappearance, police initially suggested she was a runaway. When her body was discovered, police then suggested that she was the possible victim of a drug overdose, perhaps with the assistance of fellow college students. In the summer of 2002, the family of Alore enlisted the support of an investigative reporter and a friend. Patricia Pearson, who produced a series of articles for Canada's National Post newspaper that presented compelling evidence that she was a victim of murder and that her death was possibly linked to two other unsolved local cases. The death of 10-year-old Main Dube in March 1978 and the murder of Louis Cameron in March 1977. I have not um, looked for these cases on the internet. I haven't searched them, so I don't know the details. But if you'd like me to do uh, videos about these two other murder cases, I can do that because everyone deserves to be remembered and why shouldn't we remember them, right? Well, the theory was supported by a geographic profiler and then a fair consultant, Kim Rosmer, who suggested a serial sexual predator may have been operating in the Quebec region in the late 1970s and advised police to investigate the three deaths as a serious. The deaths of Elore, Cameron, and Du remain unsolved cold cases. Since 2002, Theresa's brother, John Elore, who produces a podcast, Who Killed Ter Theresa, has continued the investigation, identifying 14 other unsolved murders from 1975 to 1981, which may be associated. He, su su he successfully lobbied for the creation of the Street du Quibridge Cold Case Unit, which was created in 2004. 
Beginning in 2018, John Ellery started to focus on other Quibbage cases from the 1970s through the present era. Cases that further suggest systemic failures in Quibbage criminal justice. On January the 17th, 2019, the Montreal Police Service the Police de la Ville de Montreal. What a long name it is! Announced it was creating its own cold case squad in large part due to the lobbying efforts of John Ellery. In November 2018, John Ellery was awarded the Senate of Canada's Sesquicentennial Medal for his work in victims' advocacy for recognition of your valuable service to the nation. The book, Wish You Were Here, about the unsolved murder of Theresa Allure, was published by Penguin Random House Canada in September 2020. And yeah, yeah, that, that's all about this case. I know it's so short and we know nothing about this case, but I also think that it's a murder. You, you can write your theories on the comment section. I really love reading them, even though I haven't received any comments about theories yet. You, you, mm, there's always a first, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's all for this video. Oh, and by the way, before I say my famous, famous line, I should give credits to my amazing friend Rue for today's makeup and my hair it looks so bad right now because i was at school the whole day and um my hair couldn't take this so yeah i look like a mess but still the credit goes to my beautiful fruit of a life full of stars till then